So in the last two weeks, we've seen Black Lives Matter protesters hospitalise 22 police officers in riots across the capital city. We've seen a terrorist attack murdering where a refugee has murdered three people, injuring another three. We've seen an attack in Glasgow by another refugee stabbing multiple people. But nothing has caused such a backlash or such a topical discussion point as this. And that involves this football club and a young man in his early 20s called Jake. I've been involved in this story. I've been pictured everywhere with him in national newspapers across the country. I have seen so much news about this boy. I've seen more of an outrage about what this lad done than about people being murdered. So I thought it was only, only right to come up here and meet Jake and find out what effect he's had on him and hear about what's happened to him since he flew the banner over the football stadium. Right, so Jake, yeah. I've come here today to find out how I've ended up in every newspaper across the country in the last week, <laughs> stood with you. I've come here to find out why you put, why, you, how many of you chipped in, just to find out the truth behind the story, because I've seen so much online, I've spoke to you, you've said certain things aren't true, certain things are true. I want to hear what's happened and since the banner went up in the, above the football stadium. Well, First of all, why did you do it? Oh, sorry with that uh, little girl that's got killed in Bolton. Explain girl. the little girl, that's a seven year old girl, yeah. a few months back. Decapitated in Bolton, in a park, something been mentioned anywhere. On Mother's Day, she was beheaded on Mother's Day. Yeah, it been mentioned anywhere. It started with her, yeah. and a few other things in America, Australia, other places. <clears throat> People have been murdered. South African farmers have been getting killed yep. for being white. So you're you're sitting on the internet, you're researching, you're seeing plenty yeah. of white people. And it's, it's brought to me what do white lives matter. Yeah. And then that thing in Redden the, the other week, three people got murdered in Redden in a park. So it's been mentioned by all that. So it brings again do white lives matter. So put put this plane up. White lives matter as well. Yeah. It's been frowned upon. Did you expect the backlash that's happened? No. No? Not at all. And you're from Burnley. Yeah. So in your town of Burnley, growing up, it's a working class town, has anything made you think that's similar growing up in Burnley? About white lives? Yeah. Massively. It's uh, one rule for one, one for another. Growing up in Burnley, have you seen things that give you the same inkling that you're seeing nationally now, that white lives don't matter? Yeah, massively. There's grooming gangs everywhere. Little white girls have been raped. I don't know what else happened to them. I've read about that in Burnley. It can't be published. I've press. read about cases in Burnley. Yeah, it's not in Burnley. It's just Rotherham, Telford, you tell me, everywhere. And it doesn't get published. Um, do you think that people think... Well, the impression to me, white lives don't matter at the minute. In fact, the impression, I think, this is the problem. To, when you start researching it, thousands of young white English girls, they let them get raped, so they didn't matter. It's not, it's not did they matter, they did not matter. Exactly. They didn't care. So, you've took the flat for it. How many people were involved in organising this banner? Well, it weren't just me, put it that way. It weren't just you. I've got the old town behind me. 90% of the silence behind me on it, because they see what happens. Can I ask you the backlash? Because how old are you? 24. 24. What have you done since you left school? Worked. Apprenticeship, £80 a week. Worked. That's Qualified. It. Yeah. Then you're working up. So, have you ever been in trouble with the police before? Just so I can understand you, because I've seen a lot I've seen a lot said about you. My record, completely clean. You've got a clean criminal record? Yeah. So you've never been in trouble with the police, you've worked all your life. Yeah, that's it. And since this has happened, I've seen a massive on sport targeting you and family members I've read about. You lost your job? Yeah. No job, you nothing. You've got no job? No. Nope. Tell me about your family. Uh, the reason I'm asking these questions is, you're 24, I was 25 when I started the English Defence League. I remember what happened when I come out as the leader in the English Defence League, and I've seen something similar. People contact where you live, they contact your work, they contact your mum's work. Tell us what's happened locally to your family. <sighs> got around to explain it. The, 
Long story short, they're in absolute bits. They're in bits? They've been uh, targeted. Some little... Are they scared? Yeah. Massively. Are you scared? Tell me about threats. Have you received threats? I've, re I've received death threats every 10 minutes for the last 7 days since they've come out. What have the police said about that? They said that you had committed uh, no criminal offence, but what can they do? So you committed no criminal offence. Let me, let me read you, because while this is all going on online, there's a couple of things I do need to clear up. I've read so much online, Say, for example, when I don't know what's true and what's not true, yeah? I read a message from you, and on this one, if I start on this one, I read this on you, this is implying that you was a, a paedophile, that's what it's implying. But then I looked and saw that the account that sent this message under your name was only set up the evening that the plane exactly. went up in the sky. Same there. Same day. So we know that's not you. If I go back and I pick out a message, there was one that I've read, and it talks about spear chuckers. Was that you? Got a comment on that. When was it? What, okay. So many years. There's, okay, there's, there's, there's a comment that talks about spear chuckers, but for, when I look at the date on this comment, it's from 10 years ago. 10 years ago, exactly. How old uh, was you 10 years ago? 14. 14? 14. 14. So, what would you have to say about that comment, though? I think that's it. I've got to confirm if it with me or not. But yeah. what the thing I'm going to say, 14 year old. Yeah. Who isn't going to make a mistake? You were shocked. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, the person you are now, and, and I think. People can change, can't they? 10 years ago, from being a kid, growing into an adult. Yeah. So the same person. Simple as that. And to be honest, Britain celebrates that. I'm not, I don't know if you know who Majid Namaz is. Majid Namaz was an extremist. He was in prison for radical extremism in Egypt. The British Parliament would all be to get him home. He's now present on LBC, so right. he's a very different person now than he was even five years ago. I read a message where you, you, your missus, who's, I've seen a lot of attacks against her. How's she been? Quite so, uh, a different person. Different person. She says, I love Burnley, but I have to admit, it's like a foreign country, basically. Am I right that you've had journalists camping outside? I've had here? journalists in my back garden. Which are not allowed to do trespassing with cameras, I've seen them. How many days have they been outside? I've seen the pictures. How many days have they been outside your house? Since Monday, five days, straight. Five days? And you've been in they the haven't house? They left. They haven't left? No. Your mum's been in the house? Yeah. See, that's... And what I don't understand, what I can't understand, and what people should question is, why? You've put a plane in the air, okay? You've said, well, white lies now. You've explained because... Because you feel that they don't, or that the country doesn't feel. It's a question, do white lives matter? Because to me personally. And what do you think with the media reaction and the country's reaction to this? White lives don't matter. That's, that's a full point. Let, let me read, can you read this? Read that out. That, that's one from Cambridge, isn't it? Yeah. I'll say it again, white lives don't matter, as white lives. I've seen that myself. You've seen that, yeah? But what's happened to her? So why, she says white lives don't matter, you says white lives matter. Yeah. Do you know what's happened to her? Been promoted. She's been promoted. But what, what's happened to me? You've lost it. How, how do you feel about that? What do you think that says? Complete liberty, innit? That, that's one word I can describe it. Liberty. Simple as that. Abolish whiteness. That's what she says. Abolish whiteness. Now, if you had to put a sign up saying... Black lives don't now. I don't understand the uproar totally. It's a for black lives matter. It's saying, it's asking the question, do white lives matter? So that's the purpose you've done it, was yeah. to say, because you've seen so many atrocities. Well, what's happened, every time a white person gets murdered in our country, it doesn't get mentioned. So it's brought to me, do white lives matter? Simple as that. If I ask you now, with what's happened, you're 24 years old, You've done the apprenticeship. How long was your apprenticeship? Two years. You've done two years. You've trained, you've qualified, you've worked hard. Yep. What do you see the future now, presently, for you? <laughs> you tell me. You know more than me. I'm not going to get a point, am I? Put my name on the internet now, from the media. It comes up. What you tell me when it comes up. It comes up. up. What? Racist, extremist, yeah. thug? Racist, extremist. Nazi. What do you think of that? You've been called a Nazi. Disgrace, isn't it? I can't, I can't think of one word to describe it. 
So do you see a future for yourself then? Do you see what are you going to do for it? You told me. You know more than me. The hip hop, yeah. Is what it is. What's your missus going to do for it? Again. Then when, when you say, because you've been named everywhere, you've ended up on the front page of every paper with your name, your address everywhere, yeah? Where you live. Did you see the black female who set fire to the Union flag on the centre? Did you watch all of this? I've uh, heard of it, but that's it being reported. No, I... no, they've reported, 20 year old, her name hasn't come out. It hasn't come out, no. Do you think, do you think she's lost her job? So why, what, 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 I'm trying to, what I want to ask the question of is, why would journalists come outside your house for five days, yeah, when you've committed no crime? You've just put a banner up, you're questioning, you're asking the question about white lives. But the lady who set fire to the Union flag on the centre, all the people who spray painted it everywhere, they've not been named anywhere. The thing is, the police came out to my house and said, you haven't committed any crime. Nothing. So, they even said that, like, what's happening? Mm. I bet it, Compare it, they, they haven't committed a crime. They've committed a crime? Yeah. They haven't lost their job. So as it coming on me, I ain't committed a crime, it's been confirmed with the police, and they haven't. It's liberty, isn't it? Trial by public opinion. That's what you're facing. <laughs> Trial by public opinion. But is it public opinion? That's the other thing I want to ask her. You said the majority of the town support you. Yeah. I've followed, I don't know if you've followed, Burnley Football Club put out their statement. Um saying that you, you, they'll ban you for life, yeah, it sounds I've like seen that, yeah. And the Burnley footballers condemned you. What did you think of what they said? They said it was disgusting. What did that make you think? Me, me for discussion, to be honest. But you know, I'm, I'm guessing, I've seen Burnley Football Club shirts here. Yeah. You've got a Burnley tattoo. Yeah. Do you love going to watch football with Burnley? Well, I did do until I've done this. And what, what do you think of their reaction? Disgrace, isn't it? What do you think of the fact if I ask you about you flew it over at a time when Burnley Football Club were wearing Black Lives Matter on the back of their tops? What do you think of them wearing Black Lives Matter on the back of their t-shirt? If they put the telly on, it comes up Black Lives Matter. They've got the uh, armbands on Black Lives Matter. So I thought the, the White Lives Matter. And then this is what happens to black people. They've got no press coverage at all. So it's made me think even more, do what well as well. And so many they don't. No, I think it's I think it's exposed what it's definitely done. I always say you're, I go down you're all lives matter. You were asking the question specifically about white lives. But it's definitely exposed the media and it's exposed the elite and it's exposed a total attack. And and what what it's exposed as well is every comment, talk sport come out and hammered you, yeah? But ninety percent of the comments underneath were totally supportive. Yeah, but they don't publish that, though, eh? No, no, but the public, they don't, the media won't publish it, no. That's what I mean. So, bearing in mind all of it, I'd ask, you haven't apologised. Will you apologise? Would you apologise? Well, what have got to apologise for? I said, do white lives matter. To me, personally, I think white lives don't matter in this country. Simple as that. So what have you got to be sorry for? I, think, I thought your response was a... Uh, don't. I'll take this opportunity to apologise to absolutely fucking nobody. But why would I? But that's it, that's it. And you've stood quite strong because I know you're 24 and I know what you're going through. I know what you're going through. I know what your mum's going through. I know you're probably sitting there, your mum's in tears. My life has gone from there to there. Completely downfall. For what? And how do you say it for uh, asking do that last matter? And how are you feeling about that? How would you feel if it were you? So I want to ask you again about Black Lives Matter, the organisation coming out of the United States. Have you researched into that? Most people think it's just about do Black Lives Matter. But if you research it, it's about Marxism, it's about defund the police, it's about... There's a lot of things that I advise people to research it, look what it's into. So you researched it, you see it was about a political message? Yeah, 100%. What do you think of your football club and that on the back of their tops? Well, because uh, this question's being asked across the country. I'd like to, I'd like to ask Berlin Football Club, research, Black Lives Matter, and look yeah. into what it says. And I'll ask you a question, do White Lives Matter? And then would they ban me then, if they look into it? That's the question. Joe, for me, this is about cancel culture. 
This is about, you've come under attack, you've lost your job. As we've seen, people can deface memorials, they can attack police, they can write, they're not losing their jobs, they're not made in the paper, they haven't got journalists from asking them outside their house. Yeah, most of the people that are coming in aren't working class people, I think. I'm from, from Burnley, up yeah. north, they, they don't see what, what it's like in Burnley. I hope that um, your mum's okay, I hope your family are going to be alright. I think there's a lot of people who are going to want to support you, because as you said, you don't see a future because of what's happened. What are you going to do? That's what I get out of time. What's he going to do? Who's going to give you a job, do you think? It's all me. No idea. So that interview was 48 hours ago. And we're on the topic of Black Lives Matter and football. Now, I was shocked when the Premier League started making their players get down on one knee and wearing an organisation, it's a Marxist organisation, on the back of their top. I researched it. I had a rant. Jake researched it, he reacted. All the Premier League went with it. Only now, let me read you, now it's all coming out. There's statements now by the Premier League. Captains in football teams are coming out against it. This is Carl Henry, a Premier League black footballer. Whether you agree or disagree with their opinion on Israel, it's clear that Black Lives Matter UK is just a front for self-serving far-left political organisation. It's like <laughs> I'm sitting here four weeks ago when I had my rant. Everyone went mad at me. And now, Premier League, Matt Letizia, Patrice Evra, another black footballer, is refusing to wear the slogan because they're realising what that organisation is about. Jake, Jake, you've just listened to an interview. He researched the organisation. None of these other footballers or the Premier League, they just capitulated and got on their knee to a fascist, extreme, violent Marxist thuggery. So the Premier League have done so much damage. They've divided this country. They've brought politics into football, yet they want to ban that lad for flying a banner in protest. They're the one that brought, the, brought our, our beloved sport into disrepute. So thank you. And, I, and I'm intrigued to see just how much. I've seen a few GoFundMes or websites set up to support Jake and his family. I'm intrigued to see how much support there is out there for him. I'll be speaking to you soon. We will make America great again.